Welcome back to the Vermean Codex. We're in the Archivist's room. And uh, let's hope he has valuable... Valuable goods as well as valuable informations. Brother Comet, I was most pleased to have been chosen as a candidate for Senior Scribe. As I noticed, I have since passed my exams and I am prepared for whatever new task awaiteth. I shall be honoured to work alongside thee in any worthy endeavour. Respectfully, Novice Elwyn. Look at that in a minute. Brother Clement's journal. Brother Torin, the Inquisitor, seemed with the surly fellow and keepeth to himself in the main. Yet he did visit me today with no apparent end to his questions. He was most interested in the history of St. Pyrrhus, in particular its construction and the site upon which it rests. He seemed most anxious to learn of any ruins, caves, or excavations which might lie within our walls. This did strike me as odd and made me to wonder if he sought something other than the source of bad beer. I must remember to discuss this with Brother Gregory. Yet I do wish this matter quickly resolved. If tis indeed the water which hath been fouled in some way, I fear what that will mean for the Feast of St. Eldon. We have recently come into possession of the works of St. Dismas. It be our joyful duty to transcribe them for the Holy Archives. They be of great worth and recounteth the events leading to the very founding of our order, in which he played such a pivotal role. And, I must confess, they make for excellent reading. In particular, the trials of St. Dismas be most thrilling. What hardships and terrors, terrors he hath faced. Which reminded me, I have repeatedly forgotten to promote young Elwyn to senior scribe. I must remember to do so promptly. He hath performed most admirably on his recent exams, and he doth carry the brunt of the burden in transcribing St. Dismas' works. A trustworthy lad in all, pierced and hardworking, and I do believe he hath come to respect me as well. It hath gone! The trials of St. Dismas hath vanished from the library! I hoped it was merely misplaced, but I have searched every nook and cranny, and the scroll is nowhere to be found. I have questioned the scribes rigorously and to no avail. I cannot fathom what hath befallen it. There seemeth no other explanation than that it hath been deliberately taken. But by whom? Well, I don't need to carry that journal either. We know who took it and we found it. It was Lucy. The Clemens notes. Some notes on the Codex of Drimia. Aha, title drop. Well, obviously the Codex of Drimia, or the Drimian Codex, is is the document that uh, we have to get as one of the other objectives that we, you know. When first we discovered the ruined temple which layeth below, we little suspected it would soon come to shape our very purpose here. So it's clear from the start, the temple is old, it's built as long as it's dead or gone, for it's designed to be strange and of no known origin. We searched upon the book whilst excavating a half-buried chamber. The first sight of the tome did take my breath off from me. It hovered above the floor like a carrion crow, and was ringed round with such veins of power that the very air did tingle with it. We knew not how to defeat the shield, though to a clear its purpose was to safeguard the tome. I have come to suspect that the imagery depicted upon the nearby panels doth play a role in understanding the shield, but as yet the meaning eluded me. The room was clogged with debris, but after some effort I was rewarded with a glimpse of the bindings. The writing thereon did seem in some ways familiar to me, and I felt a vague foreboding. Some hours in the archives did reveal to me the source of my unease. I had indeed recognised the writing. It is an ancient tongue, long believed a dead language, but known still in scholarly circles. The book is known amongst those scholars interested in such esoterica, as the Drumian Codex, though my brethren doth name it the Heathen Grimoire. It is believed to be an historical account of an ancient land known to its inhabitants as Drumia, though. In sooth. It is believed to be a historical account of an ancient land known to its inhabitants as Drumia, though in sooth little be known of that land or its people. Even its location remaineth the mystery. Nor can we be certain of the contents of the book, for it was lost long ago. The mention of it hath been made in scattered accounts dating even before the founding of the city. The greater part of our knowledge of it hath been gleaned from the writings of Erasmus Fane, a long dead explorer and scholar, who happened upon the book in his travels, though he faileth to mention where. He was wont to include excerpts from it in his own writings, though few of these remaineth. 
"'Tis possible that Dremia may hold the key to the origins of the pagans. Clearly its people did revere the forest and performed rites and rituals akin to the pagans' own. Yet their culture was also rife with symbols of strange gods unknown to us. Some, remember, some resemble pagan forest deities, whilst others bear likeness to creatures from the deep seas. To all outward appearance, the book resembleth a common tome, yet tis reputed to possess dark and arcane powers. Upon reading... <laughs> I like the spelling of arcane there, yes. Upon reading certain passages, the very text on the page doth transform itself into strange and unknown words. Possibly these be early pagan rituals and spells. Mayhap this is why the pagans name it the Book of Changings, though I fear the truth may prove it more dire. For some believe the book containeth the trickster's true name, shouldst thou possess the means to decipher it, and thus the power to call the evil one back to this world. It is for this reason that we must guard the book at all costs. New objectives. Aha, yes. If you're to find some information about the mysterious book, uh, get to the Trimian Codex before it falls into pagan hands. Then you can get it to the Keepers for safekeeping later. Alright, we still want to, we do want to find St. Alden's Shield in the Haunted Crypts, but haven't we been able to properly get into the Haunted Crypts? So we have not got the Healing Hammer of St. Perry yet. Uh, get back to where you started when all other objectives are completed, so that means I should have an opportunity to get to sewers again, in case that's the way we need to get into the secret crypts. After all, perhaps that's why other diary, was it? This one? That's not a diary. The one that spoke of Ray Batty. No, not that one. What's the other one I could pick up? Robert Eldrick? Yes, this one. Um... Alright, Roy Batty. Blah blah. Went into fled to the sewers, somehow forced his way into the crypts. So that is trying to tell me that we can get into the haunted part of the crypts from the sewers, I'm pretty sure. So we do need to go back, so let's make a note. The new piece sneaking through the basement is obviously Torin looking for temple or other parts of the Trimian Codex. There's nothing of interest in his guest quarters. Hello? Small chapel? Am I right, Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Contact, Volume 98. Trust not in unfettered nature, for ever it shall fail as thee. Instead, use the style thy tools to make of the world a righteous dwelling. Plane to tree, chisel to stone, hammer to all that stand in the way of progress. Thus the builder bringeth order to chaos. And I bringeth chaos to order. Aha. Alright, so... Wish I had a map of this place, not just on the sewers. Um, strange is that they... All just... All have rooms... All the sleeping quarters are down here. Yes, there must be a way upstairs, but I haven't found it yet. Yeah, I stole all the stuff from here. Oop. Kept of the guard. I'm very glad that light is not as bright as it appears. Oh, he turned. Oh, he does go in these rooms and practices his ammo. Nice. Well, while he is busy there, now the archivist did not have a key to the library for us, which is very sad. I hate spider eggs now. Hello, what's this door? Is that the way I came in? I think it maybe is. Right, that's the way upstairs. Wait. No, oh, no, thou didst not see aught. The 
only way to get to their sleeping quarters is this ladder? Seems quite odd. Well, okay, it has long arms. Bless you. <laughs> Definitely a busy place here. Yeah. I feel like it's a Good opportunity to use another water arrow. Brother Gregory, High Priest, I feel to be with thee. Another key needed, alright. It's not you, is it? No, you do not have a key. Someone come. Vigilance is our shield. Hmm. There's nothing there now. Was he looking at where the candlestick was? There's nothing there now. Please turn away, sir. Thank you. Not sure what I got caught up on before. But uh, I was catching up, maybe I was catching on the banner. In the beginning we lived as thieves, stealing fur and fang of beasts for survival. Then came at the builder who brought us the hammer, and with it we forged a new way of life. To reject the hammer is to denounce the builder. Hammer Book of Tenets. Oh, somebody walking upstairs, okay. No, I don't really want to use so many water arrows. Hmm. Here, right? Nay, thou hurts the wrong. This at least gives me the ability to move up this side. With uh, relative impunity. And this side is naturally darker. Although, I have a friend coming this way. Who maketh it hard? Well, a friend can now sleep. You know what? Let's just do this. We have a patch of darkness to move to. Am I right, Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 77? What is a tree but a tower that withers and dies? What is a pond but a cistern that stagnates and fills with muck? What is a patch of ground but a road which cracks and washes away? There's nothing there now. I could have sworn there were two gold candlesticks there earlier today. Is there nothing to this walkway? Ah, uh, a ladder. Something approach. Good. I know thou dost creep around here. Some blessed am I, builder, that I mayst do the work. I hath worked myself up for naught. Tis the trickster's work. Ew. 
you know what, just in case anybody happens to be running around the place, let's keep you in more darkness. <laughs> Journal of Novice Elwyn. And again, Brother Klamath did say to me that I would be promoted to senior scribe should I pass my examinations. Well, past them I did, and faultlessly so, yet a full two months and more had gone by since, and I remain still a junior scribe. I do not understand why he should make us such promises and yet honour them not. I begin to believe that he liketh me none too well. I do wish to be senior scribe. Amongst other things, Tulmina will be free at last from daily toil in the kitchen and scullery. I am not well suited to such work. I cannot keep my mind on it. I just wish to be here amongst my scrolls. This be the work I was meant to do, not kitchen chores. It seemeth I cannot even polish a vase without opening the hidden exit. Perhaps it is my forgetfulness in such matters that hath turned Klamath against me. Well, there we are. Vase. Although, why there's a hidden exit from the kitchen? I don't really know. Hello. Hammer, anvil, forge, and fire. Klamath is a big fat liar. I laugh we can all agree on. Dearest mother, how dost thou? Well, I trust. Forgive us if thou wilt the length of time since last I wrote. I have been busy beyond measure these last months. Life at St. Ferris be ever challenging, and my duties keepeth me occupied most hours of the day. Thou hast asked several times for a description of my duties, I shall reply with a glimpse of a normal day's schedule. I rise before the sun to prepare the chapel for morning services, at which I then assist. I then prepare the dining hall for breakfast, which I eat once the priests have finished. I spend the hours till midday working in the scribarium. I presently transcribe the writings of St. Dismas. They are of great value, and I am honoured to be among those engaged in this important work. Unfortunately, one of the most valuable scrolls, the trials of St. Dismas, hath gone missing from the library. I pray the builders will be found. After the morning's work, I prepare the dining hall for midday meal. I then assist Brother Marcus with his duties whilst receiving instruction from him on various teachings and rituals of the order. I must then prepare the chapel for evening services, prepare the dining hall for evening meal, attend the evening services, eat dinner, and then spend the remaining evening hours making candles and trimming wicks throughout the monastery. Finally, I fall into bed near the middle of the night. I hope this provided thee a fair picture of life at St. Ferrer's, at least the life of a novice such as myself. I await the time when I become a brother of the Order and can carry on the Builder's work in sooth. Keep us thyself well, your loving son, Tobias. He notices not that all the lights have gone out. I shall not tarry whilst about my duties. I shall not tarry well about my duties. I shall not tarry whilst about my duties. 100 times. I am surprised they made him write that and not, you know. Normally I would have expected as punishment to write X hundred number of. Uh, you know, sayings as a builder or the prayer of Saint Foosball or something. You know, not merely reflects, not merely repeats idly, they will not fail again. Is he turning the light back on? He is turning the light back on. He did notice. Alright, it took him a while. Hello. Blair, well that's not much use to me. Ah, uh, you know. 
Maybe, maybe I should leave you somewhere. There we are. Still in the dark. Still will not be noticed, I hope, but, uh... If somebody finds this sleeping in the wrong bed, well, it won't be catastrophic. All right. I still wish I had a map of this place. Guess I need to go out there and find out. Why everybody was running around outside. This is not the yard I was in before. Warning. Ah, fuck. Thou shalt not hide forever. Ah. I fucked that up. I fucked up the recovery from it. But another front kick key I don't need. I badly hurt, but I have a he two healing potions, and I have a fruit, and I have some apples. So, uh, it's not catastrophic, I can live with it. What's that room? Lots of flames in there. And, you know, on the plus side, it get to clear up a little more, uh, space here. Where's those apples? I feel like all these people wandering around in the rain, you know. It's giving them a chance to sleep in the rain, right? Coming and going. Oh, hello. What was that about submitting to a forge? What? You didn't notice anything, thankfully. Wow. Oh, the lightning makes this not a safe place to hide people. Unless I get all of them, of course. Ah, oh, this is where I was before. Hello? Who art thou? Back where I started out, I guess. There were lots of people walking around here as well. I'd like to try and clear up this outer area because all these people are wandering around with extreme randomness it seems. How bad timing of these guys isn't that? Thou 
shalt rue thy sins when I find thee. Ha! I have found thee! Thy fate shall be swift! If thou be here... Oh, I fucked that up, didn't I? I put an end to this sooner or later. Well, at least that makes for a nice distraction. So he's no longer hunting me in this corner. But, uh, I think the body's got spotted. It'll take a while for everyone to calm down, I guess. Whoops. I didn't expect him to just, like, walk out to, you know, six feet and turn right around. I expected him to be walking across the courtyard. Ah. Uh. Alright, let's give it a few minutes for things to calm down. Yeah, somebody else saw the body too. What a mess. And novices. And kitchen duty, I suppose. I mean, I could throw some more spider eggs out. That uh, seems a little... A little harsh. Oh dear, somebody else? Or is that the old novice? Guess that's the novice that's deciding to go back to their duties. Strange that they would be so eager to search for a miscreant when they're unarmed. Somebody else searching? Who goes there? Thou shalt be found out ere long. Alright, let's make another distraction. Or not. Get out of this body, it's just. Get in the corner. Alright, so there's somebody up there that is hearing things too. Alright, I feel like maybe we're okay now. The build oh, there's our priest friend. Oh, wow, look at the tr train of people. Library key. No. Is I mean, that was a bad idea. There's something to I have to deal with. Alright, let me pick him up. Down. There 
Alright, well, I guess... I let loose a spider, I need to be willing to uh, unloose it. So that's locked. That's not going to be the library key, right? Guest quarters, front gate, barracks. Oh, barracks key? When did I get the barracks key? Well, it's obviously this one. Be somebody there. Dear Rosie, I'm with you. How are you doing? How goes things at the shop? It might be some time before I get a chance to see you again. Them Ammons be keeping us pretty busy with training and drilling and such. I don't mind that so much, but the word going about the barracks is that we're gearing up to fight them pagans. I don't know if it's true, but that's what's being whispered about. I told the recruiting officer I wanted to fight pagans, because it seemed that's what he was wanting to hear, but the truth is, I just wanted a roof over my head and three squares a day. Why would I want to be fighting pagans? Most of them is worse off than I was, poor beggars. But I reckon when the time comes, I'll do what I'm told if I want to stay on here. I'm hoping that us new recruits will get leaving them next month or so. If we do, I'll be down to see you straight away. Meanwhile, I'll keep your chin up and your head down, and say hello to your mum and young baby. I'll be posting this letter in the next dispatch, which should be in a few days. Looking forward to hearing back from you when you get the time. Yours, Rory. Dear Garvin, Well, this here's the end of me first week at the Monkery. It ain't exactly plush, but the work ain't too hard and the grub's good enough. Beats living on the dole. These ammers seem to be upright lads, or all of them these and thou's take a bit of getting used to. I suppose they'll get the hang of it soon enough. The big surprise is there ain't no beer here. The monks at St. Ferris have always been famous for their beer, as you well know. Truth is, that was more than half the reason I joined up. I was hoping there'd be beer regular like. Maybe even at every meal. But I ain't seen nary a drop since I got here, and I don't see no place where they'd be making it, nor storing it neither. I sneaked down to the basement after my duties a few days ago and roamed about a bit trying to locate the beer works. Didn't find nothing except a few barrels in a storeroom. I tapped on them, but there weren't no beer inside. There was an hallway with some doors off it that looked promising, but the guards were pretty thick in there. I caught one of them priests watching me, so I figured I'd better skedaddle. I'll keep poking into the corners of this place anyhow. There's bound to be some beer here somewhere, and if it's here, I'll find it. Well, I hope to see you the first chance I get. Meantime, keep your wits about you. Your pal, Jory. Not the barracks key. Well, this is an easy lock to pick. That's a nice surprise. A lot of reading in this mission. Tis ever risky being on patrol with Brother Bainsby. Yes, a day can be found when he'd be not up to some mischief or other. He once told each of the guards that he had come to replace them on patrol and sent them each to their beds. He then left as well, leaving me to patrol the basement alone all night. Nor could I leave, for then no one would be on guard. I prefer not being the butt of his pranks, but twas all in good fun, though verily they can be most amusing when some other poor soul bears the brunt of them. Not long ago, he set the new recruits to checking each piece of the guard's armour for weak spots. Twas most important they be found, he said, that we might add more armour to the affected areas. Twas indeed most humorous. They did toil for days before Captain Standish made an end of it. And now he hath caused one of the practice dummies to wail and call out when struck. He hath borrowed a device from Brother Fagan's collection of mechanist artifacts. Tis a small thing, but tis able to capture sounds in a person's speech. He did cause it to capture his own voice, making sounds of anguish. Bainsby then hollowed a chamber into a mannequin and cleverly arranged the device inside in such a manner that when the dummy be struck, the device is caused to activate, thus creating the illusion that the mannequin doth scream at each of the guard's strokes. Thou shouldst have seen Brother Theo's face when he the first scream did sound. I thought he would faint dead away. Builder, forgive me, but I could not refrain from laughter. I can scarce wait to see what he shall at next attempt. 
All right, well, uh, I don't know if it's valuable, but the other guy wanted it for his collection. It could be valuable to me, we shall see. A wise man must needs be superior to any insults which can't be put upon him. Yet the surest reply to unseemly behaviour is off to the builder's hammer, applied to the skull. Who am I hearing? That's very odd, I should not be able to hear that voice from here. Who makes that noise? Two flash bombs. Not think thou canst hide. It's just bloody great. <laughs> well, hammer just flew past me. Well, it is a hammer. Therefore, it can't stop mean. Much is wrong. Oh dear, this guy is the guy who I think is alerted already. It is not then. He didn't come in here. The builder who make up their forms. Hmm. Hello? Goodbye. Brother Jarvis, how are things in the north? Still as frigid as ever? I enjoyed thy last letter. The description of hunting for snowberries had me both laughing and shivering. There be not much news to report here. We prepare us for the feast to St. Alden, as I'm sure their doth as well. I look forward to the meal itself, and no doubt we shall have some illustrious guests. I do relish such occasions, for in the normal course of events, time passeth slowly. Some of the brothers have begun to hold rat races in the basement of an evening. I cannot help but fear the wrath of the high priest should he discover that coin doth change hands during these events. He doth abhor gambling. Tis just a bit of merriment to while away the dark hours, but lately it has lost some of its appeal. Whilst attending the races some days ago, I do believe I did hear the sounds of movement coming from inside the basement walls. My first thought was that it were only rats, though the brothers have been most diligent about catching all that reside at St. Ferris in the hope of finding a winner. But the sound did return on other nights, and upon my oath on one occasion I did hear footsteps, though I was alone on patrol. All this be unsettling enough, but Jarvis, during last night's watch, I did round the corner near the crypts and did espy the form of a small child disappearing round a turn in the corridor. I flew to the turn and looked round, and there was no one to be seen. As thou canst imagine, this did near freeze my blood. I suppose I must finish writing this letter at some point. Truly, it was a good time yesterday. This doth make the third win in nearly as many days, as he is a good rat and fleet of foot. It has been three weeks since Brother Bainsby hath thought of the idea to hold rat races in the basement during the late shift. Blessed Bainsby, for it hath been indeed been dull beyond measure to patrol those corridors night after night, with nary a stirring to break up the monotony. I fear the high priest would frown upon such sport, but he and the other priests roameth not the basement in the dark hours, past the middle of the night. Nay, it is just a few guards who hath this unfortunate duty, and surely none of us shall breathe a word of it. And I've already won a goodly sum, methinks I shall save it to spend on market day. I might get that new chisel I've been wanting, may have a bit of that special cheese Messy likes. After all, she deserves a reward. Do not think thou canst hide. What? What? What did you hear? Honestly, I need to deal with this guy.
Both, both of them heard that. That's bad. These guys are, are super on edge, and I don't understand it. Let's hope the archer didn't come out hunting. So I want the mine to work on this other fellow. Thankfully they had some flash bombs in here, so... Uh, what was the other room? I forget where it was. So it might be of some use. Well, it got him. Now, this fellow was trying to save his money, was he? Did he hide it by his bed? I suppose not. <laughs> oh dear, I can't stand on this properly, which means I'm going to make a noise when I... I mean, I'll make a noise when I fall down. No, not that noise of me dying. Oh dear. Ignominious. When did I last save? Uh, before I oh, blurred them all. Okay. That's fine then. God, these guys are... What is up with the room brushing in here and the noise set up? I mean, it's a tiny drop of a crate on the wood. It should not have made any noise audible at the other end of this room, let alone wherever they were. Get their attention. Make them come in here and Hiding flash bomb them. Last. <laughs> All right, I'm getting more people uh, alerted now. Not so good. Lump here is very odd, though. You know what? I, say I could make this room dark, but do I need to? I see someone out there must have heard it. Wow. Hear the hammer? Perhaps my ears do trick me. Tis for nothing. The soul of a single virtuous man has the worth of ten. All right. Well, 
this guy is wandering around the maze. Problem for that reason alone, if if nothing else. I'm still hearing other footsteps here. That's I don't know what they're hearing so so strongly. It's very strange. Are he's still asleep. I can't remember if I. Yeah, I must have been in here. I had not been in here though. We read that. Well, we don't really need the other barracks key, but there's some money there. What's that? Diary. Note to self, do not jump on hammers because... I do not wish to know where the hammer handle impaled itself, stuck itself so as to cause Gary to die, but it was clearly quite a painful death. So where then? Other guard I could hear. Barracks key. Kitchens, where the novices novices beeth. Right, they've both been alerted already, so they're gonna be a little more twitchy than one would normally expect. Why do you keep all these fancy books in the kitchen? There's a lot of cookbooks. Ah. That secret exit they mentioned. I see it closes itself automatically. Ah, my favorite year. Measure thou twice, cut it thou but once, care in all things. Should I knock these people out so I can take the, uh, the food? Well, there doesn't have to be anything else of value around. Food would be nice, but I don't need it particularly. Let's see where this goes. This place, I know this place. Do I have a key for this door now, though? Obviously not that one. I just... No. I couldn't pick it. Ah. Okay, so this gets me back to the sewers if I need to. Be thou there. Nay. I be not here. I'm a little curious about up there where the watch station is. Something noises from a guard up there, but there seems to be no way up there. Well, all right. I don't need to go back to the sewers just yet. So that's the kitchen there, but I don't need to go in there. What is this gate? Also, there's at least one other person out that way that's uh, going to be a problem. Or potential problem. Who, who saw, got upset by something. Hmm. The back gate. I guess I need a back gate key. Yeah, 
Those are some friendly fellows up in the distance. Alright, they're not coming into this yard though. Oh, there's the hammer I threw at them. <laughs> oh, that's the archer up there, okay. Give for a map of this place. Who is he? Does he? Is that the Inquisitor? Contemplate thy sin. That sounds like an Inquisitor. Inquisitorial kind of thing to be contemplating. Got two fellows here, sword and crossbow. Sorry for the random mouse movements as I'm repositioning the mouse. God, both coming this way. Well, be bad for them. Into a nice dark corner. Hello, where does that lead? I guess I shall find out the outs shortly. Nothing else in here? Alright, well. The thing is, those two people were not the two I expected to see. Because they were not the ones I saw patrolling out here. I'm pretty sure. Whoa. Right, how do I get your... It turns around so quickly. Ski, that's the high priest, not the inquisitor. It's just a plate thou art contemplating. Honestly, looks like it might be valuable. Yeah, thou shalt regret having troubled me. You're right, I shalt regret it. Mistake! I shall find thee and crush thee! Crushing, I'm not sure is your modus operandi here, you know. Or he's gonna get somebody else alerted. Or oh, maybe not. Well, actually, if you if you come into the darkness, that could actually be useful. Make it easier to knock out. And the builder said, if the foundation is weak, do wail and. <laughs> Foundation is weak. Do you wail and hoof? Nay, you tear it down and forgive and you So shall it be with all my children. Sorry, Brother Gregory. 
least now I can come and see whether this is valuable or not, right? Did I miss it before? Yeah, it was valuable. I should have stolen it before. I should have been able to succeed at that slightly more cleverly, but no matter. Where does this lead? Oh, we're back in the basement area? Back to brewery. Yeah, I've been here before. Whoa! It's where the million. where the party is. So, how come I didn't see that ladder before? I don't know. It would have been useful. Hello, bye. Upstairs is where I need to be. I need to go back to the library now that I have the key to it. Let's close that so I don't accidentally fall down more than nobody else does either. That would be terrible. There is still at least one more. Hello? Novice. And another hammer. Where are they going? Well, if you will come here, I'm afraid. Maybe you won't. Maybe you, maybe you get your lucky escape this time because there are too many potential witnesses. This place is just. Constantly crowded with people. I do not regret starting to take them down. And as long as there's potential witnesses, I can't safely conk you on the bonk. Wow, look how tall he is compared to the priest guy. It's like a whole foot and a half. Is that me? It is. It's indeed me. How did I know? This guy's just an unconscious body, he doesn't have a name. Whereas High Priest Gregory had a name. It wasn't quite what I planned to do there, but. I'm. I'm going to turn about for some reason. He's already fallen. Shall be avenged. He's not dead. The builder shall make thee known to me. Yeah, I'm afraid of that. The other guy's walked past uncaring. There's nothing there now. It was, it was just a corpse. I glimpsed out the corner of my eye. There's nothing worse. Alright. Well, I think I shall end the episode here. 
as well as whatever other sorts of trickery I'm doing. As soon as this fellow has walked out of sight, I will relocate the body. Avoid any further unpleasantness. I'm drawing the stack over here. And I shall uh, stay here and contemplate my sin and end the episode. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you soon for the next one.